For our first weekend getaway after what felt like a winter that lasted forever, we have chosen to explore St. Boniface. It's another beautiful Winnipeg neighborhood filled with new restaurants, cool shops, and beautiful things to check out. We are staying at the Norwood Hotel in St. Boniface, and it is a St. Boniface institution. It's been around since the 1930s, and a few years ago it underwent some really awesome upgrades, including beautiful new food concepts like Pauline Bistro and the Wood Tavern, and also the rooms are very comfortable, clean, and totally up to date. This is an awesome little bathroom. There's a fridge and sort of like a little area here. Nice mirror, sort of vanity place. And then there's this awesome looking shower in here. Beautiful rain shower head. As soon as we were checked into the hotel and all comfy there, we decided to walk up Pache and head to the St. Boniface Museum. So welcome to the St. Boniface Museum. So this is the oldest building in Winnipeg. It's about 175 years old. It was built between 1846 and 1851, and it was to be the convent for the Grey Nuns. Um, they were here on their religious mission, but they also were here to educate and to um, provide healthcare and stuff like that. So this museum was actually, throughout about a hundred years, it was a school, a hospital, an orphanage, and an old folks home, and it was all run by the nuns. Here is the Louis Riel exhibit. Um, we actually have the largest collection of his belongings. Um, so if you start over here, it'll go kind of in a chronological order um, when you go all the way around to his coffin. So the museum is just kind of a, it's a cool little spot. It is. You don't have to spend a ton of time in there to get the full experience. And we really enjoyed wandering around. It was cool to be in such yeah. an old building and see all of um, the possessions that they have um, of Louis Riel's. If you're in this area on Taché, you're at the museum or whatever, you have to check out the cathedral. It's a St. Boniface landmark. It's so iconic to Winnipeg and to this area. An absolute must see. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful in the summer too. So make sure you come visit then. Yeah, absolutely. And if you are here in the summer, there's this awesome crepe stand that's yeah. just like across the street and by the bridge from the cathedral. Mm -hmm. So. You have to come more than once throughout the year, for sure. And if you are here checking out the cathedral, another really cool thing to do is just walk behind it where the uh, Université de Saint Boniface is located and you can see a really amazing statue of Louis Riel on the ground there. We walked up Taché to Provence, which has wonderful shops, and uh, that's exactly what we wanted to do, explore some of the shops there. So we stopped into Bothwell Cheese Shop, Bothwell cheese. which is a local Manitoba cheese maker, I believe, and they have all sorts of really great cheeses in the shop, and snacks, and treats, and we picked up two amazing cheeses that we are very excited to try yes. out. So we also popped into Constance Pop Chocolatier, um, and she makes beautiful chocolates. They're so delicious. A lot of them have a really cool Manitoba flavor. So we were really happy to be able to grab some treats from there. And then lastly, we went into the Sugar Mama Cookie Boutique. Um, which was recommended to us. It's a newer shop in the area and she has these beautiful, huge, delectable cookies. And we tried one and it was amazing. So this might surprise some of you, but right across the street on Provence in the old city hall is, uh, is an art gallery and it's a great gallery. It is, yeah. There was two exhibits when we were there and one in particular was so delightful it was called self-portrait as a to-do list yeah i don't know there was something so um relatable about it that that just made me love that uh, exhibit that gallery is free of charge so it just takes a little bit of time and you can just pop some culture into your day it was just wonderful hey if you're enjoying this video make sure to give it a like and if you enjoy winnipeg videos be sure to check out our winnipeg playlist because we have lots of great other recommendations So after chilling out from our day of wandering around and exploring the area, we made reservations for dinner at NOLA. NOLA is on Marion and it is like a really cool new dining concept here in Winnipeg. We absolutely loved it. It is 
little bit of a higher end place, small plate so it's perfect for sharing and trying a number of dishes. It's just absolutely mind blowing. The food was so good. Um, I think we had four dishes. Probably we only needed three, but it was like impossible to decide yeah. between. They were all so amazing. So yeah, we had um, a really great experience there. The food was amazing. The cocktails were just outstanding and the service was like unbeatable. And the vibe in there is, yeah. is just like bustling. Really cool. Probably one of the, the best meals I've had in Winnipeg in a long yeah. time. So um, definitely uh, on our let's go back list. Oh yes, absolutely. Um, NOLA was fantastic, uh, highly recommended. If you are staying at the Norwood Hotel, you cannot miss this place. It's steps away, like yeah. steps away. So it's the perfect, perfect thing to do. And then you just go back to your cozy hotel room and chill. Another great food option if you're in the hotel is to go just down to the main floor where there is the Wood Tavern. It's a really comfy vibe, cozy. Uh, they also have cocktails, the usual stuff you would find at a kind of a bar grill. And the food was great. The food was awesome, delicious, fresh. Yeah. The flavors were really, really outstanding. We loved it. In the morning, we were hungry and we could not leave the hotel without stopping at one of the hottest breakfast spots in Winnipeg, right. which happens to also be just right within the grounds of the Norwood, and that is Pauline's Bistro. It is a French style bistro. It's very delicious. They have awesome food there. Lots of great little egg options. They have brunch cocktails if you're in the mood for a mimosa or something else. Yeah. And just the space in there is just it's like an absolute stunning wonder to see. It's just beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful space. Yeah, we love it there. And of course, we couldn't leave St. Boniface without trying out one of the best bakeries in Winnipeg for French pastry and bread and just all things delicious, and that is La Belle Baguette. Yes. We've never been here before, but I've heard so many people talk about how awesome La Belle Baguette is, and it is. Yes, it like, did not disappoint. So crispy and like yummy and it was warm when we got it yeah that's nice i definitely feel like if i lived in this area i would just pop in here every day for a, a warm baguette i would weigh a lot more than i do now it might be worth it though we just need a piece of bothwell cheese where's our cheese in the trunk in the trunk oh, Trunk cheese. No matter the situation, we always seem to be in the mood for a cappuccino. So we popped into Cafe Postal, great little place, uh, lower level, beautiful windows, a little bit of outdoor seating, the usual assortment of great uh, espresso drinks. Um, our cappuccinos were, were really nice actually. They had a bit of a lighter tone mm -hmm. to them. So a, a beautiful midday coffee. You can catch all of our Winnipeg adventures by clicking on our Winnipeg and Manitoba playlist.